Hi, welcome back again to my channel and for today's video, we will talk about the elimination of arbitrary constants in differential equations. <laughs> So why do we need to eliminate arbitrary constants in differential equation? Okay, so when we're actually solving for differential equation, there is really a need for us to eliminate the arbitrary constant. First things first is, alam natin that the derivative is a rate of change. So ibig sabihin, it is a rate of change of the dependent variable with respect to the independent variable. But come to think of it, if there is an arbitrary constant in the differentiation, then, or in the differential equation, then there is no way for us to uniquely determine the rate of differentiation. Okay, so consider the equation like this. Kunyari ito. Okay, so we cannot actually determine the value of this graph because of this arbitrary constant. Kasi unang-una, di naman natin alam kung positive yan or negative eh. Pangalawa, eh anong value yan? So, same lang din. Kun, kunyari, meron tayong equation of a parabola. So, this is a parabola that opens to the, let's say this one, to the right. Eh, ang tanong natin, what kind of parabola is that? Kasi, kunyari, let's say our A is, let's say, 2. So, ibig sabihin, the, the, let's say this is a center. Ibig ba sabihin that this is how wide the parabola opens to be? Kasi paano kung pa ganyan pala siya or pa ganun lang siya kaliit, hindi natin siya ma-determine. So, in order for us to do that, we will try to avoid the arbitrary constant of the differential equations. And this is actually our topic for today. So, let us say our equation is this one, cosine of omega t plus alpha. So, remember, the b, the alpha, and the omega there are constant. So in this case, this one here, pero yung kunyari si omega here is parameter siya. So ibig sabihin, our goal in this case is we want to eliminate the B and the alpha. So this is our goal. We eliminate the B and the alpha. Okay, so how do we do that? Okay, let's take the derivative first with respect to T. So this is dx. Okay, we have dx dt. This is actually, um, how do we take the derivative for this? Diba b lang naman to? And so, uh, taking the derivative of our cosine, that is, tama ba? Negative sign. So, negative sign of omega t plus alpha times the derivative this one here is the omega. So, if we simplify this, this will be negative b omega that's sine of omega t plus alpha okay how about if we want to take the second derivative okay so this is d squared x dt squared so that's equal to tama ba this is kasi la, labas na to eh, constant na to siya eh. so ito na lang cosine of omega t plus alpha times omega okay so this becomes negative omega squared b cosine of omega t plus alpha. So, what does it mean? Plus omega squared. So, bali, ililipat ko sila dun. So, magiging plus yan. Pero, alam natin this one here. This guy here is the x. So, that becomes x equals 0. So, di ba from this guy here, lumalabas tayo nito. And in this case, wala na tayong nakikita ang B and the alpha. So therefore, this is the elimination of arbitrary constant. That's it. Okay, so we will have another example. Eliminate the constant A from the equation. And your equation is x minus A quantity squared plus y squared equals A squared. So how do we solve on that? So itsura to, this is like a circle, equation of a circle. So by differentiation, we have, how do we take the derivative of this? This is 2x minus a plus 2y, y prime equals 0. So, can we solve for a? Solving for a, we have a equals 
x plus y, y prime. Tama ba? Kasi pwede ko namang i-divide siya eh. Divide both sides by 2. Sige nga, ano na lang is i-detali ko ng konti. So dividing both sides by 2, magiging x minus a plus y, y prime equal 0. So transfer ko yung a sa kabila. So this is a equals x plus y, y prime. Okay, yan. But we're not done yet. Okay, we're supposed to be eliminating a, di ba? So, x, ano ngayon? x minus a. So, that's x minus x plus y, y prime squared plus y prime is equal to x plus y, y prime squared. So, ano to? Di ba I can simplify this? Uh, this becomes y, y prime squared. Kasi di ba makakancel to? Okay, di ba ma-negative kasi ito si cancel? Eto magre-negative pero mag-square so positive lang yan. That is y prime equals x square plus 2xy y prime plus y y prime square. Okay. And so this will be canceled. Tama. So therefore, y prime equals x square plus 2xy y prime. So simplifying, I get x square minus y square plus 2xy. Yung y prime pwede kong palitan as dy dx equals 0. Hence, I have x square minus y square dx plus 2xy dy equals 0. So nagmultiply ko both sides by dx. So that is the elimination of arbitrary constant. That's it. So if you have any question or clarification, please let me know. Another example, eliminate c1 and c2 from y equals c1 e to the negative 2x plus c2 e to the 3x. So how do we solve on that? So we have, okay, let's take the first derivative. y prime equals negative 2 c1 e to the negative 2x plus 3 c2 e to the 3x. And so, our y double prime is, tama ba? This is 4 c1 e to the negative 2x plus 9 c2 e to the 3x. Okay, so can I label this as equation 1? Ito ang equation 2. Ito yung equation 3. So, using equations 2 and 3, we have, paano to? Y double prime plus y prime. Bali, i-add ko sila. Gawin ko siyang 2 ha. Ah, okay. Sige, simplify muna natin. Equation 2 becomes 2y prime equals negative 4 c1 e to the negative 2x plus 6. Tama ba? c2 e to the 3x. So, I label this as equation 4. Okay. So, using equations 3 and 4. So, eto na. Compare ko yan. Ang mangyayari, i-add ko sila. So, that's y double prime. Add ko. So, magiging plus 2y prime equals. Pag mag-a-add ako nito at dito, makakancel kasi yan. Okay. So, I have 15. Tama ba? 9 plus 6. So, nagiging 15c2 e to the 3x. Also, using equations 1 and 2. So, ano mangyayari? So, let's compare the 1 and 2. Ito yung 1, ito yung 2. Tama? So, I have, if i-add ko siya, pwede ko kasing i-multiply 2 by 2. Yan. So, if i-add ko siya, magiging y prime plus 2y equals 5c2 e to the 3x. Okay? So, so this is equation 5. Label ko yan. This is equation 6. Using equation 6 to substitute equation 5, we have, okay, so ano yung equation 6 natin? y prime plus 2y equals, I'm sorry, yung equation 5 pala natin is uh, 2y prime. Okay, y double prime. 15c2. So that is 
c2 e to the 3x. So I can write this as 3 times 5 c2 e to the 3x. Okay? Pero di ba alam natin that 5 c2 e to the 3x, eto, pwede natin palitan niyan. So therefore, this is equal to 3 times y prime plus 2y. So if we simplify that, we have 3y prime plus 6y. The, therefore, y double prime, eto na siya. And then 2y prime, so magiging negative y prime minus 6y equals 0. So this is now the final answer. That's it. So if you have any question or clarification, please let me know. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or clarification, please let me know so that we can discuss on that. And for those who are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated on a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. Thank you and have a great day.